Hi there. Well, um, getting a lot of questions from people asking about how pressure points work within their own particular art, or more specifically, do pressure points work in my art? Well, of course they do. The body is the body. It doesn't matter what style of martial arts you're doing, the body is the body. Therefore, the body works the same, doesn't matter what style of martial arts you actually do. However, there are some arts where points are more favoured, if you like. Now, that needs a deeper explanation. But a lot of the traditional arts like karate, taekwondo, etc., have fallen so far away from their supposed original beginnings that you know so much is missing. You know, body physics, body dynamics, body mechanics, a lot of that is missing. Power generation, the understanding of balance, the understanding of how and why techniques work. Um, you just need to look at some of the uh, kumite, some of the fighting uh, sports fighting situations that are going on to see that it hardly resembles what you do in practice. The basics are different to the kata, which is different to the sparring, which is different to the fighting. And that creates a, another whole host of problems which we can talk about another time. But arts that are more similar in terms of their basics, the sparring and the actual fighting, are ones where it's actually much easier to incorporate points and players. So things like your Jiu Jitsu, Judo, Boxing, Kickboxing, <coughs> pardon me, MMA, things like that, sports fighting like that, you're much more likely to be able to incorporate points and players into that art. However, you can still do it in those traditional backgrounds as long as you look at the art in the way it's supposed to be looked at. Originally, they weren't designed for sports competition. They were designed for a real fight, for real self-defense. So when you analyze the art from that perspective, it is indeed very simple and easy to add the points and players into that art. And that's what we've always done. I thoroughly enjoy the sports side of it. It's great fun, you know. And a sport that is full contact is much more realistic, much more like a self-defense situation, albeit a sport, it's much more like a self-defense situation than anything else. So that's one of the main reasons why I like my boxing so much. Because as we all know, a good smack in the mouth hurts, doesn't matter who you are. So the short answer to the question is yes, the points and players can be integrated into any art. So what we teach, what we show, you can take that information and apply it, no matter what your art. All you have to do is do some logical thinking, some common sense, look at something that we show and then apply it to what you already know, which is a phrase that we've used countless times before and it's one of the most misunderstood to be honest. You don't need to blindly copy what we show because it's how we do it. Now, if you find that's a better way for you to do it, then of course do it that way. But you should be applying those principles to your own way of doing things. Now, if your own way of doing things is just totally wrong, then of course you change it. But for example, if you've already got good technique, good movement, distance, timing, balance, etc., then you can add those extra things the points and the players to what you're currently doing with ease. You will find that the points and players are there for you within the technique. 
Another thing that you need to do is to take that knowledge of the points and players and work it through. Test it, try it, experiment with it. Find out how it works best for you. Every person is different. We've all got different builds, shapes, abilities, etc. So you need to find the way that's right for you because what is right for me may not necessarily be 100% right for you. It might only be 80, 90, 95% of the right way for you. You need to then work it out and find the best way for yourself. And that's what training is all about. And that's how you get good quick because it makes you think, makes you work, and makes you apply this material in the best way that you can do it. Now, oftentimes we get stuck. We can't see the wood for the trees. We reach a plateau. We're not sure how to advance that bit more, or we feel that we're not advancing for whatever reason. That's a good time to video what you're doing and analyze it. If you know the principles, you know what should be happening. You know how a technique should be applied. If it's not working for you, video yourself doing it and critique yourself, become your own coach. Another great way to do it is to teach others. Because as you're teaching others how to do what you're doing, you have to understand it properly, to teach it properly. And if you find that when you're teaching people this stuff, that they're not doing it right, it could be one of two things. It could be that they're not doing it right, or it could be that you're not teaching it right. So you need to look at that as well. Because if you're not teaching it right, then it could be one of two things. One, you're just not teaching it right and you know it. Or two, you don't really know it and that's why you're not teaching it right. So we always have this non-stop cycle of looking at what we're doing, looking at what we can help others to achieve and trying to build that up all the time so that not only do we improve ourselves, but we also improve as a teacher, as a coach, as an instructor, whatever you want to call yourself. <clears throat> and by improving that aspect, you help others get better quicker. You know, I've often said that my goal is to, is to teach somebody something as quickly and efficiently as possible. If it took me years to pick it up and learn it, it shouldn't take me years to teach it. It should only take a matter of hours. Then it's up to the person being taught that to drill it and own it so that it becomes an integral part of what they do. So we've drifted off a little bit, but the short answer is yes, points and players can be integrated into any art. Some are, to be fair, a little bit more suited unless you're doing that art the way it should be done. And then yes, of course, points and players are there for you at all times.